another thing I'm going to use my spare time for is regripping my hurls, right? Uh, obviously, as you can tell, there's been a heap of grips on this hurl, so I'm going to regrip it again. I like to regrip my hurls every three to four months. I buy all my grips in every sport, and I always go with the caracal grip. I always have, and I always will. Never change it. So, I like the white ones as well these days. And the start might be the most important part and probably the most controversial. I'm a loop over the top man. Big time. Loop over the top man. I know about yourselves, you can grip it whatever way you want. But I loop it down over the top. In and around the handle here. And then wrap it around there. Right? Now, here's where I get very particular about how the hurl is gripped. A lot of people like a lumpy grip, like my older brother. I hate the lumpy grip. My father used to grip me hurls and he used to pull the grip out as hard as he could. I didn't like that either. So I developed my own te technique, kind of, where I stretch it out a bit, but then I let the hurl do the work. I twist the hurl rather than twist the grip around and wrap it around. I twist the hurl, kind of like your fork and, and spoon and spaghetti. I twist it around, look, and I just hold the grip and let the grip come around and wrap itself. So the grip will wrap itself around the hurl here, look. I'm only holding the grip and twisting it around then. I use the old Caracal XL these days. When I was younger, I used to buy three grips if I had two hurls. And I'd buy the three grips, cut one in half, and I'd have a grip and a half on one. But thankfully, Caracal saved me that ridiculous idea. And uh, the old XL grips, you can't go wrong with them. People often said I have the head of a fellow who loved gripping a hurl, and they were right. I love it. It's just something about it. Something like it. The hurl always feels different with every new grip. And I'd often, I'd change my grips every maybe three to four months, in and around that, depending on how we're going. Let me get down here, stretch it out a little bit more. And around and around and around. You can take your time, go fast. Just keep it nice and evenly spread. And it should, you're looking for it to match up with the other ones. There we go, just twisting the hurl, holding the grip. Twisting the hurl and holding the grip. And mine always end up with a little lip on it like that now. Use the caracal tape as well if you want. Sometimes I do, most times I do. Well, it isn't the strongest tape in the world, but should we use it anyway? For branding purposes. Wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around again, twisting the hurl, but then look for backup. I'd go with the old black insulating tape. You couldn't go wrong with black insulating tape. Uh, or electrical tape, whatever you want to call it yourself. And again, wrap it on part of the grip, roll it around and around and around, cover up that white part, and make sure you don't tape over your name, give it a good strong hearty sturdy support to tape there, and then look, lovely, this yoke could nearly hurt itself, lovely, so, Elvery's is where I always go for the XL caracal grips. I love them.